All right, what we're going to do is we're going to change some values. This is part two. So we're going to look at right now it's zeroed. And uh, with the split cleaner, we'll switch over and you can see that it's zeroed, not quite in the center of the table. One of the things we learned last time is that you can actually go in here under setup and you can change your speed settings. Like here's my fast jog speed. If you look at it, I've got it at 150 inches per second. All right. And that needle says that should be about as fast as you've got it. So let's go back and look at how fast that is. So my speed is on fast right there. And if I take it toward us near, you can hear it running and you can see it in the other video display. And it runs pretty fast for me. That's pretty good. I want to change that. So I don't really because I'm going to change it back. But just to show you how to do it, you simply go to setup, hit fast jog speed, and you click on the speed that it's at. And I always write it down, 150. That's what the factory setting is. So I'll put factory settings, 150 for the fast. I'll make note of it. And then I'm going to change it to 100 and say OK. Now if you look, my speed setting is now changed to 100. So if I come back and run it, it runs considerably slower. All right. And if that's not fast enough for me, let's see what my medium is set at. Let's go back to setup. Look at the medium speed. It's at 50. So I'm still fast at 100. So I can change that. My slow speed or jog speed is down to 5. And that's what I like. The factory setting is 10. I've changed this to 5 because I like a slower jog setting uh, on slow. When I'm moving my Z up and Z down, I'm going to be doing it precisely. Okay? So that's, that's how you set those. You just go into setup. Pick the speed you want to change. Let's go to the fast one and change it back to what it was. 150, 150, hit OK, and there it is. So I can change my jog speed fast, jog speed medium, and jog speed slow simply by changing that. I can also change the brightness. Let's look at that. It goes from 1 to 8. It's currently on 8. I'm at a dimmer building than I used to be, so I'm going to click on that and make that 6. See if you notice the difference. You see it? See how it's dimmer than it was? So that's something I can also change. The sound, the beep sound, is on 2. I'm going to change that to a 4. Because it's noisy when I'm using this thing. For a noisy environment. I'm going to enter 1 for noisy environment on. There we go so that it will beep. Uh, the reverse polarity spindle, I've never used that and uh, don't hope to. So that's it. That's how I can change this. Let's this, this see if the fast is back where it was. Yep. It's going fast like it was. I can go to setup and verify that by going fast speed 150. And that's it. That's how you can change those. That's what I told you I'd teach you to do in section two. So part two is over. Section three, we'll look at setup again. Not this section. Sorry. We're going to look up apps and learn a little bit more about those. I've covered the touch plate app. Uh, I haven't covered virtual zero yet. Um, a couple others. I think what I'll do is teach you how to use the home and the XY. So, till next time, have fun with your CNC. Have a great day.